Hello, my name's Angelo with Freedom Mobile Living. Thanks for joining me today. Today, my video is about how to create remote work, or to, I guess to, to uh, say it a little bit more plainly, how do I get the skills I need in order to attract remote work? That's really what it's all about. Because a lot of us are used to working in a nine to five job or nine to six job, whatever job you're working in. The only trouble is we've never ever put our, what we have learned in our experience and our education and brought it down where we can provide a remote work for others. A lot of times, let's say you didn't have no skills. Let's say your skills are limited. And if your skills are limited, you still can do remote work because you can learn. Uh, life's about learning, it's about taking one step at a time. So. If let's say you're interested in website design, how do, how do I become a website designer? I have to go to school to do it? No, you don't. Everything is on the internet. Google has a school called Google Garage where you can learn everything about digital marketing, website design, SEO, uh, which is search engine optimization, uh, also uh, website managing to manage a website and uh, to provide hyperlinks and to find, uh, find leads and so on or to set up platforms where you can uh, provide leads for customers so if you could so provide a lead system for a customer that's remote work in itself because anybody will pay for a lead uh, any industry so you don't even have to know the industry you have to learn about the industry you have to learn about the the skills it takes in order to do that but it's all obtainable and it's obtainable online so everything's done through google uh a lot of times udemy is another one but that's a paid pa a paid platform so you have to pay for the course uh, but the one for Google is all free and it gives you at least a basic knowledge of everything just like coding well, Let's say you wanted to be a coder, but you didn't know how to start Best way to do it is go on Google They will teach you the fundamentals of being a coder and they code in HTML or in JavaScript or if you want to go farther than that you can literally go on Udemy and start taking courses to get dive more into being a coder now, why is that important? Because I believe that's the future. Uh, apps are a big deal now. They're going to even be a bigger deal as time goes on. And if you can code, you can actually do almost anything because coding involves like website. Instead of having a template like Wix or Weebly or GoDaddy or places like that, those are like templates. So think of those as more of a Windows so back in the day when uh, computers first got it, came out, they came out with DOS, where you had to code DOS in order to do anything with a computer. Well, then Microsoft came up with a window program where they started having Windows, and Windows enabled people to have the codes already done, and then you can take the Windows and modify them to your certain situation. You don't have to do that, but nowadays coding is done with HTML and JavaScript. Now, if I code for a website, then it's the backlinks and the coding behind the scenes that produces what you see. So it's more universal, it's more user friendly, and it's also better for search optimization when you take a website and you code it from an HTML instead of just doing the, the windows, the platform, or the templates that's already set like on GoDaddy, Wix, and Weebly. So if you want to learn the future, you want to learn something that can give you some skills where you don't have to spend a lot of time in school, you can do it on platforms like on, on Udemy or Google. Now go to Google Garage and you can really look at an array of different things that they teach as far as classes go, and that will give you a broad range. Now, I believe like uh, as far as myself, when I'm doing uh, work as far as remote work goes, most of my work has to do with what I enjoy or what I feel I am good at. So I am really good at SEO and website. 
uh, social media I am pretty decent at but I take one of them and that's the one I, I prefer so website design website design and website uh, building is better suited for what I enjoy because it gives me my creative side and I also can, that creative side can be put into any industry and it takes me that to roughly takes me anywhere from 6 to 15 hours to research the industry to find more about it so I can be a better value to my customer. The other thing you can do is try to generate some of those leads for that website. So the whole thing is to have the website, but also to generate leads by it. Because what's, what's the sense of having a website only to look pretty? If it doesn't do anything, it's really, there's not very much value out of it. So uh, a lot of people think they can build a website. They go ahead and build it. It looks pretty, but there's nothing to it. It's a shell. So the whole thing is, is you want to be able to back, is do your keyword research, do some black backlinks. You also want to have your uh, keywords placed, also your description of each page, and then have everything built into the body of the website as well. The better it's built with keywords and with description, the better you're going to rank on search. So the whole idea is that when somebody types in um, a search term, Google wants to make sure they're doing the service to their customers, which is the person typing in. So they want to make sure when you type in something that you're getting the best relevant information. Now, in order for them to do that, they have to gather information. So they have what's like a worm that goes through and it crawls through your website on periodic days generally daily and when it does that it's trying to find out exactly what your website's all about so so it doesn't have to if it takes too long for it to search and find that then it will just back out of there and you won't get no relevance from it so relevance comes from keywords description content body of the website so all those facets and then when you get into e-commerce, it even gets a little bit more difficult in that or a little bit more uh, in depth of doing that for e-commerce. So, so to build a website is one thing, to know how to do that. Another thing is to design it where you are gonna get maximum amount of uh, traffic from it. So the whole idea of a website, a lot of people will do advertising, let's say on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, and then somebody will click on it and then it keeps them there. The whole idea of a website is drive all traffic to the website. So you have to do short films, short videos in order to drive that because the bottom line is you want them to be intrigued by the post, but then be intrigued enough to click on it, which takes them right where to your landing page. That's how you capture your customers. Now, once you capture them, now you have to keep them. So there's different things that you can do to do that too. But if you really want, if you're interested in remote work, I'm not gonna tell you which one to go with because uh, everybody has their likes and dislikes. Everybody's good at one thing and not good at another. Now I do website design and then the building of the websites. So those two things is what I gain my customer from. And then from that, I might open up the platform more where I might do a little bit more SEO for them. I might do some, some uh, uh, marketing on the branding. I also might do some digital marketing for them. But that's something that happens. I also do drip campaigns when it's dealing with uh, emails. So capturing emails and doing campaigns on a certain uh, predetermined time. And that way, uh, if you're their regular customers, they're constantly getting information from you, and that way it keeps you in the forefront of their mind. If they're not a customer and you're trying to capture a customer, then you're keeping yourself in front of them, and so when the need arises or the, the desire arises, that customer clicks through, you capture them on your website, and then you put them on your email campaign. So anyhow, if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer any question for you. If it's something you'd be interested in as far as providing remote work, and some people, you're doing something else right now. You might be doing a ride share, or you might be doing deliveries, and you're just getting frustrated with that because of the way they're paying you, or, or either that or just you just get tired of driving so you can start inching into the remote part of it as far as digital goes and then you can start 
uh, getting yourself into it where you can at least get out of something that you're in now or maybe doing both I like diversity so a lot of times I like a, a handful of different things I'm doing thanks for watching I really appreciate you taking the time out today and it's a sensitive topic it's a big topic so this just touched a little bit of it but if you like the video go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up and if you would like to be alerted on the new videos that I come out, when I come out with them, go ahead and subscribe. Even if you don't want to be alerted and you just want to support the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it wholeheartedly because this channel is not about me. It's about you and it's about people within our society. And you know where my heart's at. My heart has to deal with the homeless people and people are really struggling in life. And that's really where my heart is. And so if you, if you do subscribe to this channel, you'll be supporting that and uh, you'll be touching other people's lives in the process. Thank you very much. And again, thanks for watching.